All right, everybody, welcome to episode four and the final video of Fung Bros in Taiwan. We're gonna talk about the Aborigines, we're gonna talk about the art in Taiwan, and last but not least, we're gonna relax in some hot springs. Yo, trust me, guys, this was really interesting. You guys might learn something. Check, Check it, it out. out. You know where you can rent a bike, ride it to one location, drop it off for a really low price? Well, guess what? Taiwan has its own version. Yep, they have a public bicycle rental station. You know what, you guys? Why don't you guys take the bikes? I'm gonna take the subway, and we're gonna see who gets there first. You sure? Man! Let's go. I heard Formosa Boulevard Station in Kaohsiung, Taiwan is one of the top 10 subway stations on the entire planet. Let's see if it lives up to it. Woo! One of the things that I love the most about the major cities in Asia is the public transportation system. They have subways, MTRs, light rails, all types of things to help you get around. Because the subway system is such a big part of traveling in Asia, they make sure that they're very clean, very secure, and they got a whole lot of shops too. Yo, you guys gotta check out this ceiling right here. Got a show going up on a Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. What's going on everybody? We're here at S-Light in Taipei. They got a bunch of world-renowned artists and designers to come together and help create this one-of-a-kind, world-class creative hub. It's like one big design studio. An Asian hipster's dream. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Guys, everybody pick out the baby bear brick that fits your personality the best. All right. Let's go. I went with this figurine. Obviously, you see the pencils popping out of the head. The reason I chose this figurine is because this was me as a kid, man. I had to study the SAT so much. Shout out to my tiger parents, man. Huntuming. I choose this kid. Why? Because he has a colorful mind, just like me. All right, guys, I'm going with this one. It has a lot of planets all over the head. And when I was young, I used to like the universe and the solar system. I thought it was fitting. Yo, this is crazy. I've never written in anything like this before. All I know is that this looks like Jurassic Park right now. There's a pterodactyl! Today we're at the Formosan Aboriginal Cultural Village. Formosa is another word for Taiwan. It's kind of like how we have the Native Americans in America, but they have the Aboriginal Taiwanese in Taiwan. Basically, the island of Taiwan was filled with a bunch of Pacific Islanders before all the East Asians came. What? Let's check it out. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, very good. To know that in an Asian country, Taiwan, that they have their own tribal Aborigine people and that they still at least have a place where they can show their culture. Obviously, their culture is not like the dominant culture in Taiwan, 
but it's nice to know that it's still around. I think it's really cool because when you usually think of Taiwanese people, you're just thinking about, you know, the actresses, Jeremy Lin, but this is like the people that were before all the Chinese came, so it's really interesting to see that culture. Taiwanese Aboriginals, we know. What's going on everybody? We're here at Sure Fun at the top of Taiwan. This is the place where you can buy your own paper lantern, write your own messages and wishes, and send them off into the atmosphere. This is a Taiwanese tradition that originally started as a warning signal for the entire village, but since then has evolved into a really fun thing to do. Ooh. They wrote something in English about their family and in God and health. The things that, that unite us really, no matter what race, creed, or gender, we all want these things. So. Let them go into the air. Oh, he's a madman. Oh. Oh. We all grind, we all shine. biking in Taiwan. One thing that you may not have known about Taiwan is that it's absolutely one of the best countries in the entire world to do cycling. Cycling is Taiwan's most popular leisure sport. It's very safe and scenic at the very same time. David's got a GoPro on his head. We got bikes. Let's go. Hello, ni hao. See, people in Taiwan are really friendly. Taiwan, love it here. Between the furry animals and the bikes, this is taking me back to my childhood. This was an unexpected surprise because honestly, when you come and visit Taiwan, this is not the first thing you think about doing, but it's pretty fun. It was a lot different than riding a bike when we were growing up because instead of riding around your neighborhood, you have Sun Moon Lake. Let's see what's next. So what do five guys do in Taiwan when they want to relax? Hit the hot springs of Beitou. So what makes the hot spring special is the water is very high in sulfur. That's a natural mineral that helps blood circulation and helps you relax. This is a sleeping bath, so let's check this one out. I can really see why Taiwan refers to itself as the heart of Asia because you have influences from all around. Right now we're chilling in a Japanese influenced hot spring spa. I really hope sulfur is good for my skin because I need it. Yo, I think it's really dope to go to hot springs in Taiwan because I went to one in Vietnam, but the weather in Vietnam is really hot, so you don't really get the feeling of a hot spring. But here, it gets really cold in Taiwan, so it feels really nice when you get into a hot Taiwanese spring bath. I think it's so dope that I can find a little taste of Japan in Taiwan. This was the perfect way to cap off a perfect trip to Taiwan. I'm feeling relaxed. How you guys feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling real good. We should have done this a week ago. I think this hot spring really shows the dope mix of cultures that Taiwan is because you have influences from Japan all the way to Pacific Islanders and Southeast Asia all in one place. So I can really tell why Taiwan calls itself the heart of Asia. Yo, you guys feeling this one trend or what? We, we love, love one trend. trend. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching episode four out of four of Fun Grows in Taiwan. Big shout out to everybody who went, our whole crew. Big shout out to the Taiwanese Tourism Bureau. We were all so excited to be able to be in Taiwan for a week. If you guys haven't seen the other episodes, check out this one right here. That's number one. Check out this one right here. That's number two. Check out number three. We're going to figure out how to link that somehow. This was episode four. Man, we covered a lot, but I know we only scratched the surface. Let us know what your favorite part of the trip was in the comment section below, but also let us know some other stuff you guys want us to check out in Taiwan. It was my first time in Taiwan. I had a blast. Shout out to everybody that we met. Richie, that was your first time in Taiwan as well. Woo! It was crazy. So thank you for watching and thank you to everybody. Till next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.